Welcome. Here is a rundown of war in Ukraine. Ukraine is a de facto member of NATO, Ukrainian defense minister says. Ukraine has become a de facto member of the NATO alliance, the Ukrainian defense minister Oleksiy Reznikov has said. Mr. Reznikov told the BBC he was confident Ukraine would receive weapons such as tanks and fighter jets which it has been pushing for. This concern about the next level of escalation, for me, is some kind of protocol, Mr. Reznikov said. Ukraine as a country, and the armed forces of Ukraine, became a member of NATO. De facto, not de jure, by law. Because we have weaponry, and the understanding of how to use it. NATO plans to deploy surveillance planes to Romania to monitor Russian military activity. NATO has said it plans to deploy three surveillance planes to Romania next week to perform reconnaissance missions and to monitor Russian military activity within the 30-nation military alliance's territory. The Airborne Warning and Control System Surveillance Planes, or AWACS, belong to a fleet of 14 usually based in Germany. Three of the aircraft will be sent on Tuesday to an airbase near Romania's capital Bucharest on a mission expected to last several weeks, the alliance said in a statement. The planes can detect aircraft hundreds of kilometers away, making them a key capability for NATO's deterrence and defense posture, NATO spokesperson Ona Lungescu said in a statement. And Zelensky, the battle for Donetsk continues. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has used his nightly address to give an update on fighting in the eastern Donetsk region. The tough battle for Donetsk continues, he said. The battle for Bakhmut and Soldar, for Kremina, for other towns and villages in the east of our state continues. It comes after Ukraine's general staff of the armed forces denied that Soldar, a town in Donetsk, had fallen to Russia. Mr. Zelensky's address followed a speech to the Lithuanian parliament earlier on Friday, where he said the coming months would prove decisive for Ukraine's war effort. However, U.S. think tank the Institute for the Study of War has played down the strategic significance of Russia potentially gaining Soldar, which has become one of the bloodiest battlegrounds of the war so far.